Noel Elliott with Finish Line Home Inspections, Tucson, Arizona. I'm showing you on the inspection mirror. You can see the tip of it's kind of fogged up. And when I run it next to the uh, the uh, combustion chamber door, that um, you can see the the uh, flow of the heat and moisture coming out of the out of the uh, door there. Um, you can see some of the yellowing here. It's an indication of a improperly uh, drafting chimney vent. You can also see that the the uh, water. Um, uh, sorry, I'm at a loss for words right now. The uh, discharger, the uh, flush valve is capped, which indicates that it may have leaked at one point. And uh, should be evaluated. I want to show you also, you can see the uh, water staining on the label. You can see uh, a little calcified uh, crusty, rusty uh, deposits, and when you get up top here, you can see uh, more of the same. And let's see if you can see this picture real good. This is the chimney flue, and this is deposits left. There's the nipple here, and this nipple, and there. there's a lot of corrosion on this tank, <clears throat> but what I'm concerned about is this top lip. And see how it's seeping, and we don't know what's that, what that's done to the tank inside. Um, there's no seepage at the, at the bottom. tell everything that is running down the tank uh, or all the calcification, um, water issue, moisture issues I see running down from the top of the tank and uh, we're going to call out a need for service on this. Um, we need to make sure that this vent hood is uh, proper size, properly seated on the tank and I can tell just from looking at it that the vent hood is off just a little bit. Let's see if I can show that to you a little better. And uh, It's not fully seated. It's kind of just, uh, what's the word, cattywampus. Also, uh, let me just show you this. This is the shutoff valve. Now I'm a, I'm six foot five, and my arm is fully extended to to reach this valve, and I have to actually stand on my tippy toes to be able to shut that off, uh, which isn't a problem if you're six foot five homeowner, but let's say that you're not six foot five, that could be an issue, especially uh, when you have water seeping from your tank. And, uh, also, before I before I forget, while I have this combustion chamber door off, we're gonna look inside and we want to look right on top of the burner there. And you can see that debris pile, nice rusty debris pile. It's also another indicator that uh, this water heater's not drafting well. And so we're going to recommend to the buyer that they have someone come out and evaluate that. Date code, serial number. Um, 
it's an older water heater, but still shouldn't be in this con in this condition. And that's Noel Elliott, Finish Line Home Inspections, Tucson, Arizona, showing why we're stepping out of the competition.